now we will explore some more functions of list we will see how extend append del pop and remove function works in with list if you want to add some element into the actual list and you don't want to create a new list you have the function or method known as extend like previously we have done addition like this concatenation addition in the same list but the list we have to create a new list so this is not the way to do the things in case of extend method so if this is l let's see we are copying it below and we want to extend the list by adding few elements so extend has the capability of extending a list adding the new element into the list without creating a new list we want to add few elements here what we need to do we just need to do use extend function and within bracket i will just mention the elements of our list so if i will see it you can easily see that our list is already has been extended and this is the same as which we have previously so if you want to have a list as it is you don't you need to use you don't need to use concatenation you should use extend function because in concatenation you need to create a new list okay and if you don't want to use this list again then you should also use extend function now just uh, we are moving to append function if you want to add values in a list you should use it it's a very similar to extend but let's see the difference what's the difference if we do here l dot append you will see what's the difference See what's the difference by using extend? We just add the elements, and by using append, we just use the same elements or same list as a new element. So it will take whole list and add the list as next element in the list. So this is the main difference. One more thing, if you want to. add only a single element like l dot append 1 2 3 so you can see how it will work okay see it will be added as a new nested list and it will be added as a new element so I just wanted to note you here the difference between extend and append. So this is the difference. Both do same works but they in a different way. Now del command. Another command that you can use it is del command. What del do? Del 0. I want to uh, delete the element of list L which is at zero index so i will use del function del l zero then see what it and then you can see what you can see easily that 
L has removed the element of index 0. Okay. And we have run it two, twice because at 6 we have run it twice, 7 and 8. So it's uh, deleted two elements, India and 23. You can see easily 6 and 8. So uh, mistakenly I have run it twice. So if I, it will drop, uh, it, it has been, it has dropped us in two elements. So if I want to, see it again i can see if now this is a new list if i want to drop only a single element and at zero index now it is 6.6 .6, you can see you can see only 6.6 uh, .6 has been removed because after it it's nine you can easily check here one more thing if i want to uh, delete more than two elements together like if i want to delete 0 to 1 two elements you can see now it's at 0 now it is have mumbai and at second index it has 5 so i need to use 2 now it if I mention start index to end index, then it will delete an index minus one up to element. So it will delete Mumbai and five. So if I run this, you can see what it will do. Okay, it's yes, it's invalid. I didn't mention here. L. You can see here what's the difference. It's already deleted two elements. Oh God. It's again did same mistake. It's already done, deleted these and this. Okay, okay, okay. Now what I can do if I will remove it from here and Hmm. Now just go, move to uh, next component pop. What is pop do? We can also use pop function to get the last element of the list. Let me define the list L that is randomly it's a list. So by using pop function what you just get? L dot so it will give me now I will use print L so it will give me the last element of the list now You can easily understand what has been removed. It removed the last one element here. So it's the beauty of uh, Python. If you have an error, it's directly mentioned. So it was already a list one two five nine. If I use l dot pop, it will return me last one component. Okay, because I have used here printl, so it returned me list. After removing this, what is the list? After running it, printl. If I just do l dot function so it will return me 11 okay so per function return that last one element and it's also remove the 
element from list like if i see you can see here so alice no so you can see element is no longer there and the list is with the rest of the elements now just go to the remove how we use remove function remove is just use to delete any particular element like l dot remove and we just mention like a uh, five i just want to remove five from here and l note in the list oh. It's taking this one L here. What I need to do here? Because it's not a string. You can see how does it work because it was not a string. So uh, we didn't. Uh, you we don't need to use that semicolon. Let's see. We just take a another one list and we can see how this function remove function work. So I just need to do l dot remove and within bracket we just you need to use semicolon and india l so you can see india has been removed so this is how remove and delete function does work so these delete function remove does uh, work in almost in a similar way I hope you got the video, uh, the basic points in the list and basic function. And please like and subscribe my channel. If uh, you didn't uh, subscribe yet, thank you for watching my video. Thank you. Thank you so much.